Are the news reports of tragedies around our world beginning to wear you down? Are you, like me, beginning to turn the news off? It's just too much to bear. Well, as the song says, are you tired and worn? Well, that is true with all of us, I believe. Whether it is world news, a bomb in Boston or Ukraine, a ferry sinking in Korea, personal news, bad news from the doctor or a wayward child, a friend's news, an accident or a broken relationship, we all have reason to be tired and worn. But as the preacher said, Friday's here, but Sundays are coming. Redemption wins, the struggle ends. From all that's frayed and torn, a song will rise from the ashes of a broken life, and all that's dead inside will be reborn. It is our prayer that we will all experience new birth today as we relive the experience of the giver.
sir. Simple money. The tool that Very everyone nice. needs. Made in Egypt, imported. Five shekels, just for you. Welcome to Jerusalem. Your... We have the sweetest grapes in town. Are you here for Passover? How are you? Thank you. You're welcome. That's all in Jerusalem, right here.
Put me like this. You're too short. Oh, here's the rest of the guys. Good to see you guys again. My brother. Philip! Hey! Yo! James! 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 Good to see you, my friend. Ah, oh, Josh. Oh, it's been so good. Oh, I love this. Hey, let's find a seat. This looks good. Who set this up? It's amazing. It's an amazing. I mean, all the other drinks. Booth all the drinks. Drinks are ready to go. This is good. I'm not sure why they ran off. I'm here. Oh, I got it! I got it! Lord, you're not going to wash my feet. Oh, Peter. Peter, right now you don't understand, but, but soon you will. No, you are not going to wash my feet. Oh, Peter. Peter, if you don't let me wash your feet, then your pride will keep you from having a place in my eternal kingdom. Well, well then, don't just wash my feet. Wash my head and hands. <laughs> no, Peter, just, just your feet. Just your feet. <laughs> and we have enough water for that. You know, when, when you all committed your life to me, your, your body was cleansed. Now, all that is necessary is well, to remove the dirt from your feet. <laughs> Look, I, I, I know this must seem very strange, but if I am willing to serve you in such a humble way as to wash your dirty feet, then you should be willing to serve each other. I, mm -hmm. I'm trying to give you an example of that love. Sense. The same kind of love that I want you to have for each other and for all of mankind. Oh yeah, I love it, but I'm not going to watch you eat. This bread, it represents my body. It will be broken for you. And you, and you. But when you eat it, I want you to remember that my life was given so that you can truly live. This cup, it, it represents God's promise of redemption through the shedding of my blood. My blood, it will be shed for the forgiveness of sins of the entire world. No, but before I go, I, I just want to remind you to love each other. I want you to love each other the same way that I have loved you all this time. I, I want the world to know that you're my disciples by the way that you love. Uh, you know, my friends, no greater love has a man than to lay down his life for his friends. But tonight, I tell you, one of you will train me. What do you want? Train Jesus. What? Yeah. Jesus. Lord, who will betray you? Uh, is the one who dips his bread in the bowl with me. And it will happen just as the scriptures foretold it. It would be better if this man had never been born, for he brings destruction upon himself. Surely not I, Lord. 
destinies of this year. Now go quickly and complete what you have planned. Cheers. 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 My brothers, my friends, even though you have spent all this time with me, you've heard my teachings, you've seen me perform miracles with my own hands. Tonight, when they come for me, every single one of you will leave my side. What? Master, maybe others will leave you, but not me. I will always be with you. Peter, Peter, my friend, Satan is determined to separate us. I, I pray that your faith will be strong so, so that when this ordeal is over, that you'll be able to come back. And at that point, your faith will be an inspiration to your brothers. Lord, you know I will do anything for you. I will always be with you. Peter, Peter, the truth is that before the rooster crows, you will deny even knowing me three times. Even if I have to die, I will never leave your son. I wish it was true, Peter. At this moment, he seemed to be shut out of the light of God's sustaining presence. The guilt of fallen humanity he must bear. Upon him who knew no sin must be laid the iniquity of us all. So dreadful does sin appear to him, so great is the weight of sin he must bear, that he's tempted to fear that it will shut him forever out of his Father's love. Feeling how terrible is the wrath of God against transgression, Every step that he now took was with labored effort. He groaned aloud as if suffering under the pressure of a terrible burden. Twice his companions supported him when he would have fallen to the ground. Oh, my brothers, I, I am overwhelmed by sorrow to the, to the point of death. Please. Stay here and I'll stand to guard. <laughs> Pray for me. Pray that I would have strength and courage for this ordeal that I must go through. <laughs> Father, but 
I, I'm willing, I'm willing to do anything that you would have to do, Father. Jesus, my Lord, must you suffer more for these people? You are the Son of God, the creator of this world. Surely you must know what's in the hearts of men. You know, Jesus, that these people are full of pride, of greed, of lust, and hate. Jesus, look over here. Look at this. In your hour of greatest need, your three best friends can't even stay awake to help you. And these are the ones you want to die for? Your life hasn't changed them, Jesus. What makes you think that your death will? Don't give your life for these beings. They aren't worth it. How can you claim to love them so much when they continually hurt you and couldn't care less about you? They obviously don't love you. Neither does your father. If he truly loved you, he wouldn't be allowing you to suffer like you are. selfish pursuits of their own dreams and happiness. They will ignore you by their own free choice that you gave them. They will reject your love and your death will be meaningless. <laughs> and you are going to throw away your love and your life for these pathetic people. When has God ever wasted his love on anyone? They aren't worth the love of God. And they certainly aren't worth the very life of his son. Jesus! Jesus! My friend, you are wasting your love on them. Did he waste his love on you, Lucifer? to assure you that your father is greater and more powerful than Satan. <gasps> Jesus, God sent me to comfort you because he loves you. And he has commissioned me to give you his strength so you can complete this task. Through your love and your sacrifice, Sin will be destroyed, and your gift of salvation will be given to all of these people, to your children. You will see a multitude of the human race accept your gift and be saved. 
And then... Jesus. And they will live in paradise with you forever. James, John, wait. It's time. It's time for the Son of God to be betrayed into the hands of sinners. Here come my betrayers now. Who are you looking for? You seek Jesus of Nazareth. I am he. upon my father and he would have sent me an army of angels but if I had done that then how would the scripture be fulfilled what? what was that you come tonight armed with spears and clubs as if I'm some sort of criminal and this entire week you and you were with me in the temple and you listened to my teachings and you did not approach me but now you have come and you have come so the scriptures might be fulfilled Of the 
Sanhedrin with the prisoner, Jesus of Nazareth, prepared to see the imperial governor of Judea, his royal excellency, Pontius Pilate. Why have you brought this man here in the middle of the night? What is so important that you have to wake me up? Who is he? And why have you brought him? Well, why have you brought him? We would not have brought this man before you if he were not a criminal. That's right. If you have already tried him and found him guilty, then why bring him to me? I beg your pardon, my lord, but we are not allowed to put anyone to death without your Roman approval. Death? What has this man done that I should sentence him to death? He sets himself up above Caesar. He claims to be the king of the Jews. Above Caesar? Above Caesar. Are you? the king of the Jews? It is as you say. Are you going to say anything else to defend yourself? Do you hear the charges that these people, your own people, have brought against you? Surely you have done something to make them say that you are deserving of the death sentence. Aren't you going to say anything? Are you a king as you have claimed to be? A king of fools. My kingdom, it is not a political one. It, it is not an earthly one. My, my father in heaven has sent me here to earth to speak truth to anyone who would listen. Truth. What is truth? I find nothing that this man has done wrong. <laughs> Nevertheless, because of the charges that you have brought against him, I will have him beat. And they release. Thank you. what he just said? He admits his crime. He is a blasphemer. Don't release Jesus. Kill him. Kill the blasphemer. Kill him. At this hour? What does she have to say? She says, my lord, Pilate, have nothing to do with this Jesus of Nazareth. I have suffered greatly in a dream because of him, and I have seen that he is innocent. Do not give in to the courts. Innocent? My wife sent you with that message? When? Yes, my lord. About an hour ago. Was that all she had to say? Uh, well, was there anything more? She, she, speak up, girl. Speak up! She believes that something terrible will happen if this Jesus is put to death. That killing this innocent man will change your life forever. That is all my Listen to your wife, it's true! Oh, 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 It is customary at the time of the Passover for me to release to you one Jewish prisoner. My lord, Barabbas, the Who? murderer. Who would you like me to release to you? Shall I release Barabbas, the murderer? 
Lord Jesus, who is called Christ. We want Barabbas. Do whatever you want with Jesus. Kill him. Put him to death. We release Barabbas to us. We want Barabbas. We want Barabbas. Crucify him! Release Barabbas! Crucify Jesus! I have found no fault in this Jesus. Nevertheless, true to my word, I have had him beaten, and I will release him to you. You crucify him! Behold the man. Yes, look at him. I am innocent of his blood. Do with him as you will. Jesus, I'm sorry. There is nothing more that I can do for Let his blood be on us and on our children. Crucify him!
naked, waiting to be stoned to death for my shame, he did not judge me. So, may Jesus was the only man that had a right to judge me. And he didn't. He didn't. He just forgave me. Mary, we must continue sharing what Jesus taught us. 
our stories, his teachings continue to reach us. He would have wanted us to follow his example. But now the Sabbath is here, we must go.